In this series of videos, we are gonna build a very basic PHP content management system from scratch. Now, in an effort to keep this focused and simple, we are going to basically use as little code as possible to create a tool to add, edit, delete, and view some content. So in this case, we're going to use projects as our content topic. So this content management system would be practical for managing a portfolio, or it could quickly be switched from something like projects to blog articles or photo gallery or so on. So we're gonna leave out some pretty crucial concepts in this content management system, again, in an effort to keep this focused and simple. Things like security will be kept to a minimum. Things like validation or confirmation before items are deleted won't even be included. Now to start, we're going to create our database. So our database is gonna require two tables. The first is going to store our projects and the second is going to store our admin accounts. So let's just jump into phpMyAdmin and create some new tables. So our first table is going to be users and this is going to have seven columns. So our first one is going to be ID. This is going to be our primary key and I'm going to select auto increment. Next is going to be our first name. This is going to be variable character and 25 characters should be enough. Next will be our last name, also variable character and 25 characters. Next will be our email address and this will also double as our username. And this will be 100 characters. We have a password. This will also be variable character and a 100 characters. Now, when we store the password, we're not gonna store the password in plain text. We're gonna convert the password to MD5 encryption before we save it into the database. Now, MD5 is a really basic encryption. It's a one-way encryption. So when we save the password, we just need to encrypt it before we save it. So when a user logs in, we actually take the password, re-encrypt it, and then compare the two encrypted values. Um, next, we're just going to have a field for active. And this is going to be a field called enum. Now, enum is a special type of field used when you only have a couple possible values. Okay, and we'll just default this to yes as active. And then finally, in most tables, I like to have a date added column and this will be a date time, and I'm going to default this to the current timestamp. So when a new user is added, this the record will set the date added value to the current date and time. And I can click Save. So let's insert a testing record. So we'll just go Jane, do put in an email address to work with. The password will just be password. However, this will be encrypted. So I'm going to select MD5. Active will be yes, and current timestamp is fine. So I can click go. And now if I click browse, you'll notice we have our new user and notice the password. So that is the encrypted version of our password. Okay, next we need a table to store our projects. So our projects table is also going to have seven columns, sorry, eight. And we're going to have our first column is integer. That is going to be our primary key and auto increment. 
Next, we're going to have the project title. This will be variable character, and 100 characters should be plenty. We're going to have a content field. This is going to be a text. This is where you can place a description of your project. So you might include a couple paragraphs here. We have our URL. This is the URL address of the project. Um, I'm going to add in a type. This is going to be, again, enum. And just for example, let's have graphic design projects and website projects. We're going to have a date the project was completed. And in this project, we are going to store images directly in the database. So there's a couple possible methods of storing images. You can either transfer the file to your server and store the file as a separate record and then store the file name in the database, or you can actually convert the file into base64 and save it right in the database. So when possible, I like to put it right in the database. That way when you delete or update an image, you don't have to worry about deleting the file as well. So when you delete the record, the image goes with it because the image is in the table. If you have it separate, then you have to make sure your code is deleting the record and then deleting the image as a second step. Same with updates um, as well. If you have multiple projects in this case with multiple images, you just have to make sure there's no image name duplicates and so on. So in this case, we are going to store the photo directly in the table and I can click save. And there's our first step. So we have our two tables ready. So our next step is to create a simple login process. So in the next video, we're going to create a login page and a simple dashboard with our content management system options. Thank you.